Someone said I look pregnant in this. With the wind. Do this. Hold my belly. <laughs> All right. What are we doing today? About to eat some kangaroo. Yeah, so sorry to all of the vegans, the vegetarians, the pescatarians, the... what else? I think you got them. The people who only eat meat when they have had a lot of drinks, the people who only eat meat when they feel like it, you know, all that stuff. We're going to this place called Blackbird Cafe. Um, I saw online that they have a kangaroo steak. There are also some places um, around Sydney that are probably more affordable. Um, they have like kangaroo burgers, kangaroo pizza. Ooh, like kangaroo. Ooh, but the reason that, see Peter is like so oblivious. The reason we're not going to kangaroo burgers is because it's an hour and a half round trip. So it's kind of a big time commitment. And then the kangaroo pizza, I saw a picture of it. I feel like it'd be a better experience if we just got to taste the kangaroo on its own and not like mix it in with cheese and salt, sauce and all that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I'm already tired. Also, the reason we picked this place is because it's close. It's the closest. Did you ever call your mom when you were little at sleepovers because you were scared? Uh, I don't think so. You seem like the type. <laughs> no. <laughs> You seem like the type that would uh, I was always... rat someone out in school. Why would I do that? Just seem like the type. This girl always told me, she always had snacks in her pocket at school and we weren't allowed to. And she would always be like, shh, don't tell, I'll give you some. And I never told and she never gave me any. I was always the last one up at sleepovers. Rage! We just stood at the wrong bus stop across the street for like 10 minutes. Whose fault was that? Secret to a successful relationship. Always place the blame on, on someone. Whose fault it was. That's not you. Do you know where the heck we're going? I do. I know how to read a map. Do you know how to read a map? No. Look at these cute little boats. How's that? Ah, uh, it's okay. Dude, that is so freaking. <laughs> Got to my nails. Dude, your hands look like, like, so soft. My hands look like I do all the work for the two of us. It's definitely a splurge meal, but we figured it would be part of the experience. Um, and we're definitely going to be over budget today, but it would be super off-brand if we were under budget, so. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? I think the plan is to first, we got pizza and kangaroo to share for both. So the first thing we're gonna do is eat a couple slices of pizza and then when we're like not starving, we can properly do a review of the kangaroo. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
What does it taste like? What did you compare it to? Steak. Mm. Do you like it or no? It's like a tougher steak. But it's really good. I'm gonna try the sauce. Alright, my, my turn. How'd you cut it so easily? It tastes exactly like steak. But a little chewier, huh? No, I mean, it tastes like steak. Okay. <laughs> well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fries are good. Let me sunburn half my face. Sucks for you, man. Wow. We did good. So much for leftovers for. <laughs> yeah, we were like, for sure we'll have pizza for leftovers. Oh. So full. You look so Aussie. You look like a kangaroo. Actually, I would, I take that back. I think you look more like this. All right, shall we? You gotta pay first. Right. You gotta pay first, boy. This dude can only either a toothpick or walk, can't do both. Safety first. When I was little, I was at the doctor's office in China waiting and I was playing with the toothpick as one does while they're waiting at the doctor's office apparently and I don't know what happened I fell and it stabbed into my hand but it was perfect because I was at the doctor's office so they fixed it all right after that meal grocery store for the rest of our time in Australia <laughs> probably <laughs>